So we head out of town, we're going to Bugs Island, Kerr Lake. I mean, it's got a couple different names. The locals call it Bugs Island. Great fishery. I, I head out in the morning and drive all the way past into Ohio. I don't know, stop at some, you know, $25 a night hotel like fishermen do. And uh, got up in the morning, headed down, got there, you know, a decent hour, checked in. We actually had to stay at a hotel. Our cabin didn't start until the next night, so. Uh, so we left yesterday morning, heading to Kerr Lake, Bugs Island. Made it about 10 hours yesterday. Lucky enough to stay in this cockroach hotel. Very nice, I recommend it. If you wanna stay here, it is in the middle of nowhere, Ohio. It's a little spendy. So we got about nine more hours and we'll be, uh, we'll be there. Practice starts tomorrow morning. So here we go, let's get this done. Checked into the hotel, went and ate some dinner and got some rods ready. And of course we get up in the morning for the first day of practice. It's pouring down rain. Like, I mean, it's just downpouring. So we waited a little bit until the massive stuff left and then got out on the water. Never been there before. There's not very many lakes that I have not been to in the country and this is one of them. I don't, just, it was never on our schedule. So I uh, headed out, I actually had a, a co-angler hit me up and wanted to go fishing so sure why not another another line in the water doesn't hurt anything so we head out and man just went to the first pocket we went in and just started catching them and I was like man is this how this place is gonna be just like everywhere you go you're gonna catch them and and I think it was a lot to do with the the rain and overcast and stuff but we had a great day I mean we caught them everywhere we went caught a couple big ones saw some cruising which is a good sign that they're coming up and I heard that they had been spawning for a little while and uh, you flip in a bush and you get one. So, I mean, that's when they're peeing and whatever, they're, they're spawning. And uh, of course, we're four days away from the actual tournament. So that stuff can go away quick. And uh, just had a great day, a lot of fun. And uh, next day, did it again. It was sunnier the next day. Now we didn't catch as many, but the quality was better. It was, it was kind of weird. Uh, caught probably 40 or 50 the first day. And the second day, of practice caught, I don't know, probably half that, but bigger fish, a lot more two and a half to three pounders and one that was like four, had 13, 14 pounds the first day, had about the same, maybe a little bit more the second day. And uh, and then just kind of went with it. But then we have this monsoon that comes in again after the fact. And uh, I don't know, rain two or three inches. And then the wind started blowing and it basically muddied up the whole river part of the of the lake and it's a huge lake and uh so we just kind of went with it we started kind of throwing spinner baits and stuff like that started catching them and uh kind of got something a little figured out i thought i could catch some good ones out of the bushes so my plan was just to get a quick limit and then go flip bushes the rest of the day and hopefully you know catch a four or five pounder which you know i i shook, shook a couple off in practice where good ones i could see them it was pretty clear start the first day of the tournament head out uh I don't know, I was like middle of the pack. I think I weighed in at four o'clock or 4.30 or something. 126. 420. 126. Right. Look at this guy out here freezing. Yeah. 126. Hey, get out there while you Look at that. Kill get him, buddy. Thank you. So, uh, head out, start throwing spinnerbait, and catch one right away. something like that left out of there around nine headed up the up the lake and uh started flipping bushes and the first stretch that i go to I, I catch one and call and i catch it i think i caught a second one and called and then i get, get to this one bush that i ha hadn't had a bite in and flipped in there and you know set the hook and sure enough uh i could see her down there about a three and a half, four pounder and she's got me in the bush and wallowing around and then it comes off. And I mean, that this place is a three or four pounder is like gold. It moves you from the 10 pound range 
to the 12 to 13 pound range if you got a couple two and a halfs mixed in there and end of the day i didn't get any you know i had a few other bites and called a few times but it just i just never had that big bite again it was just like i, I knew when she came off it's like man these are so hard to get good bites you know so uh weighed in i think i had 11 9 or something like that let's bring you all down to minnesota jack grigsby i'm gonna be able to go the distance now Chad, how's Chad today? Good, it's a little breezy out there, but uh, man, this this place is pretty awesome. There's fish just everywhere in any way you want to catch them, but the key is getting a big bite, and I had one today, and it came off, and that's just the way it goes. It wasn't great, but I'm in the 70s. Very, very doable to uh, to come back. Getting ready to take off here, day two. Uh, little ground to make up, about a pound, a little less than a pound and a half out. So uh, cold again this morning, it's about 40, two or three something like that uh it's supposed to warm up a little bit the wind's not supposed to blow as bad so we can get around a little better but uh we're gonna try our best see what we can do uh we're gonna need 13 14 to be in good shape so it's doable i've had a couple days in practice like that so we're just gonna grind it out 350 check-in uh, a little sooner than uh, the day before but we're gonna try our best here we go let's get it on so uh, the next day, I kind of was going to do the same thing, spinnerbait, but man, I just had a feeling like the bush bite was just going away. So I go to my first couple stretches, catch a couple. Let's turn the recorder on. 2-4. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Didn't have a rolling. <laughs> Ended up, uh, I think I had four, and they were all like over twos, which was better because the, the first day they were like pound and a halfers to, to two pounds. Well, my first one was like a two four, then I had a two six, and I pull up on this point and throw a square bill and it comes up, it's like a four pounder. Three and a half, four pounder. Four pounder down the drain. Eat all day, and obviously I'm not going to quit working for that one bite, but or another bite. But it's like I had it, and I had it almost to the boat, and it just didn't work. So keep doing it, and I did it a lot longer that day, till like 10, 10:30. Had a pretty decent limit. Had a two nine, two two nines, and no, I had a. a two six a two four a couple two fours so i know they're getting off these tree these willow bu or, uh, bushes but i had caught a nice one the first day on a willow tree like my biggest one a three pounder so i go in the first pocket that i've never been in before and uh sure enough first tree i flipped to two and a half pounder I think it was two nine. Go to the next pocket, next willow tree, right on the base of it, another two nine. I'm like, oh, so we'll run this. Ran around, and all willow trees don't look the same, but uh, some of them are super shallow. These were in like four or five feet. They were like off the bank. 
and I think they're just staging on that coming out because they were both post spawn, which is fine. And uh, did that for a while, couldn't really find that, kept going farther and farther up the lake and it kept getting cleaner and cleaner. And that clean water, I was just not comfortable flipping it because I could see down four or five feet. So what I did, I went back and I said, all right, let's just go throw a spinnerbait again. And then called up again. And then my co-angler caught one, he called up. So we ran that for a while and I'm like, God, to catch a big one. I just got it, I had like an hour to go. Let's just start running these pockets that I've never been in and flip a couple willow trees that look really good. Just, you know, no bites, no bites. And right at the back of one, I set the hook on one. of giants coming out and it was a catfish i'm like oh my word are you kidding me right where, where a, like a four or five pounder should live and so get that off go to the next now i've got like 10 minutes i go in the very last pocket and flip up by this little tree and sure enough set the hook and roll him over a couple bushes and get him in it, it called me up four or five ounces which is huge in this tournament and uh go to weigh in hey, step on up chad at a minnesota Chad started out with 10, 14 yesterday. Five in the bag today. Said a little bit better day today backstage. Yeah, it was a lot better day. Caught a lot more fish, uh, better quality. But I mean, I, I was that one key bite away and I had it on and I lost it at the boat again, two days in a row. 12, three today, 23, one, your two day total. It does jump you up to 19th place. So we're inside the top 40. Yeah, that ain't gonna hold up. <laughs> right, Uncle Chad. Yeah, Chad wants to hold one up real quick in. Yeah, 23-1 is two-day total, 19th place. Never know, we weighed in right here in the middle, Chad. Just look straight ahead. Woohoo! Flight nine, we're right around that halfway point of the weigh in, so you never know, we'll find out. Will nutting, we're ready, Will. Step on. And I ended up with 12-3, uh, moved from 70th, 77th to a tie for 42nd. I'm just that close, four ounces from a check. Got some good points, but it's just like we're so close here. I mean, we're we're doing, I'm doing what I need to do, but it's just the execution, and we gotta just tighten tighten things up a little bit for the next six events. Less mistakes. Uh, I think we're gonna be good if we just tighten up on the mistakes that I've made in the first couple. You follow as a bad couple bad mistakes. Just clean that stuff up. I'm you know I land those two fish. I'm in the teens, and you know. It's just fishing, and I know everyone lost fish and had this and had that, but you just I just gotta cut down on that and just like execute better. And I don't know in my head I'm trying to think how can I execute better, but it's just it's just gotta happen and stuff starts gotta start rolling our way. So we got six more events. Looking forward to the next one. It's at Wheeler, I've been there a bunch. Uh, I don't know how the fishing is, I haven't been there in a few years, but looking forward to it. Uh, good points for the year. Just keep this rolling, keep moving, keep climbing up the ladder. A couple top tens will be in good shape. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. We are off to Wheeler and uh, we're going to crush them there. So hope you guys enjoyed the show. We will put out the other one after Wheeler's over. Do I look fat in this outfit? Yep. Most fishermen are fat. How do we look? Chubby? <laughs> 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 I think it's the champagne talking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>